most of us give it a good shot, but a lot of us might not even realize we're doing it wrong. Well, now some residents will know if you need a little more help with your recycling because of some little tags. Sorting through bottles and boxes can be a little confusing, and that confusion leads to piles of trash at the recycling plant and wasted taxpayer money. Yeah, because they got to sort through it all. Charlotte is trying to do something to help us all out. They're starting a pilot program in some neighborhoods around the city to educate. Our Elsa Gillis is joining us now with how this would work and how the neighborhoods will be chosen. Elsa? So Scott, Erica, city workers will actually be opening up these recycling bins and inspecting, going through what's inside. Then they'll let you know how you're doing with these tags, whether you're doing a great job, they'll put that here, or whether you have some work to do. And it's all an effort to make Charlotte a little bit greener and educate residents about recycling right. We try, yeah, but you, you never know what. So many of us try to recycle right, like resident Kristen Weil. I don't know what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, and it'll be really helpful to get someone to tell us that. It can be confusing, and as it turns out, officials say 17% of what Mecklenburg County residents recycle are contaminants and shouldn't be there. So the city of Charlotte is trying to change that. We, we just accepted the invitation. I'm excited to see what we learn from it. Weil is one of 3,000 homes that got this letter in the mail saying they're part of the recycling tagging pilot. If you're wondering why or how you were selected, here's the deal. The city studied recycle routes and identified the areas as having highly contaminated recycling carts, that is, bins with high amounts of non-recyclable material. We will be going out and looking inside of highly contaminated recycling carts. Uh, and looking for contaminants. Every other week, sanitation workers will literally be going through your recycling bins on the curb if you're part of the program and alerting you if you're doing a great job or not. So this program is in no way, shape or form is about invading someone's privacy. It's all about educating educating Charlotteans about how to recycle right. We want everyone to know that we want to do the best with their recyclables and take it to the proper places and not end up in the landfill. Keep in mind, workers will be wearing uniforms and driving city of Charlotte cars. I mean, if something can be reused or repurposed, there's no reason to not go through the extra step. You know, it seems like a small, like, oh, what's one, you know, plastic bag in this recycling bin going to do? But it sounds like um, it can cause a lot of problems. So it's important to do our part. Now this pilot has been successful in other cities. Sanders tells me in Atlanta it reduced their contamination rate by 34%. Charlotte's pilot program runs through May 1st. Scott. All right, Elsa, thanks very much. Now in July, you got a tour of the Mecklenburg County recycling plant. I know I was there years ago, but you learned how much these recycling mistakes are costing us. I mean, there are mountains of just garbage in there along with the recycling. Yeah, Scott, it costs a lot. And keep in mind, these are Mecklenburg County numbers, but I'm told those mistakes cost about $130,000 a month in taxpayer money. That adds, adds up to about $1.6 a year. All right, and we can all help out with that. Thanks, Elsa.